we will continue with the calculations of multi level uh, systems having a fixed energy. So, we still remember that we are still talking about distingu distinguishable particles by that what we mean is that they are classical particles which can be distinguished. I would like to emphasize one particular point here is that it is not our ability or inability to distinguish a particle as you know distinguishable or indistinguishable categorization. It is a statistics that come out comes out of the particular um, experiment that will eventually tell us whether particles are distinguishable or indistinguishable. So, what I, what I mean by that is that one can do some mathematical calculations with distinguishable particles in distinguishable cells or in this indistinguishable particles in distinguishable cells and they will eventually give rise to different statistics. Now, when you do an experiment and see that it is following a particular type of statistics, then we know for sure that it is the which category of particle we are talking about and you will see that uh, today uh, in, you know following a few following you know few uh, slides will, will bring up that particular issue that the experiment itself dictated that what kind of uh, particle we are talking about with the background mathematical foundations for understanding them. So, uh, briefly uh, just summarizing uh, what we talked about with uh, three particle and uh, you know three levels uh, three units of energy not three levels three units of energy here their levels are 4 0 1 2 3 and uh, there are uh, three possible distributions and the total number of microstates uh, that came out of that is uh, 10 and we know that it is a star bar kind of problem where indistinguishable particles go into distinguishable cells here indistinguishable particles means energy. So, we are distributing energy which are indistinguishable we do not know whether blue energy or green energy or anything they are all indistinguishable energy units which is going into distinguishable particles meaning cells. So, again we can map it whichever way we want to. So, and that star bar problem with uh, 3 particle and uh, 3 units of energy will give rise to the value of 10 and you can uh, do that calculations simply by. So, you know the formula for a star bar problem that is um, number of uh, energy units is R, particle is n minus 1 C n minus 1. So, R is 3 here. So, 3 plus 3 minus 1 C 3 minus 1 which is 5 C 2 and that is nothing but 10. So, those are the 10 uh, the total distributions that are here and individually. So, the 3 plus 6 plus 1 is 10 and individually one can get the 3, 6 or 1 by using the multinomial distributions where you use uh, n factorial the total number particle by n 1 factorial, n 2 factorial, n 3 factorial and things like that. So, you can see that this 3 is coming from tot cap, uh, capital N is 3 here where N 1 is 1 and N 2 is 2. So, you can get 3 factorial by 1 factorial and 2 factorial and you will get the number 3. In this case you will get 3 factorial by 1 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 factorial which will give you 6. Here you will get 3 factorial by 3 factorial, 0 factorial, 0 factorial and you will get 1. So, that is how we are getting A, B, C and that is we are getting because they are all distinguishable particles as you can see from the color itself. And we also talked uh, about that the B is the most probable distribution because probability of this particular distribution which is obtained from the number of microstates of B which is 6 divided by total number of microstates which is 10 and that gives us 6 by 10 which is the most probable distribution or MPD in short form. Now, this is just 3 particles and 3 units uh, energy levels, 3 units of energy not 3 energy levels again this 3 units of energy that you are talking about and we are going to go little bit more complicated system of having 5 units of energy and 4 particles and this also we talked about uh, that um, you can you can get this 5 possible distributions, 6 possible distributions and each of them is having different number of microstates. Now, I al uh, already mentioned that the number of distributions you can get by partitioning an integer into 
that many number. For example, here the number of units of energy is 5. So, you partition the number 5 into 4 parts. So, you are partitioning 5 into 4 parts in order to get the number of distributions of having 5 units of energy into 4 particles. So, basically you are partitioning the 5 into 4 parts such that your each part is some energy unit for a particle. So, let us say if you break 5 into 1, 1, 1 and 2 that means you are giving 1 unit of energy to one particle, another 1 unit of energy to another particle, another 1 unit of energy to another particle and 2 units of energy to the last particle. If you break it into 3, 2 and 0, 0 then you are giving 3 units of energy will give you 6 partitions. So, 6 partitions essentially is 6 distributions. Now, 6 partitions can be of different kind. For example, as I said that when I am partitioning 5 units of energy into 6 partition, one of the partition can be 3, 2, which means that one particle is getting 2 units of energy, another particle is, is getting two in, uh, 3 units of energy, another particle is getting 2 units of energy and rest of the particle is are getting uh, 0 units of energy. So, that is one type of distribution. One, one can break the 5 into 1, 1, 2 and 1 let us say. So, 3 particles are getting 1 units of energy, 1 particle is getting 2 units of energy and the la and, uh, and that is what it is one, one distribution. We can break 5 into let us say uh, 3, uh, 2, 2, 1 and 0. So, pa in partition you will not get the 0. However, you have to see that whether it is less than the number of particles or not. If it is, then that last one is getting obviously the 0 units of energy. So, this is another type of distribution. So, in order to get the number of distributions, we need partitioning of the uh, partitioning of that integer which is equivalent to the amount of energy. For example, partitioning 5 into 4, P, P 5 4 is number of partitions of 5 up to 4 parts up to. So, there can be a partition of like only 5. So, that 5 will go to only one particle and the rest of them will get 0. So, up to 4 parts that is the more important thing 5 4 means. So, so the and now for each of the distributions for example, distribution A we know how to calculate the number of microstates that is factorial n by n 1 factorial n 2 factorial and things like that. And if you do that then you will get here 5 factorial by 3 factorial and 1 factorial give you uh, number 4. So, no sorry it is 4 factorial. So, number of particles total number of particles is 4. So, 4 factorial by 3 factorial and 1 factorial will give you 4. Here 4 factorial by 2 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 factorial will give you 12 and things like that. that thus, we will get the uh, individual uh, number of microstates for individual distribution and of course, the total number of microstates you can get by the formula uh, that is given for star bar uh, system which indicates that indistinguishable particles putting into distinguishable cells. So, now that is uh, exactly given here for example, uh, this is the formula for getting total number of distributions and it is mentioned here that if r equal to 5 and n equal to 4 we get 56 possibilities total 56 possibilities. So, all microstates combined all mi microstates of all distributions together will give you 56. So, we can call that as w dot total number of microstates. Now, if our if our units in, in units of energy is 3 number of particle is 3 then total w dot we are going to get as 10 as we have shown before and that is again shown in this uh, particular diagram where 3 indistinguishable particles i.e. energy is distributed among 3 distinguishable cells i.e. particles and we can show we can see all the 10 for 3 particle and 3 boxes. Now, let us go to a little bit more complicated system and let us now distribute 7 units of energy into 9 particles. Again if I have to tell you that how many number of distributions are there I would partition 7 into 9 parts. Now, 7 cannot be broken into 9 parts. So, effectively P 7 9 is basically nothing but P 7 that means partition the number 7 to all possibilities and that number is going to give you 15 as you can see from Mathematica or you can 
do it yourself and you can see that I will give you some example for let us say if you have 7 then how many partitions are possible you can get 7 only 7 which means all one particle is having 7 units of energy and all particles are having 0 units of energy. You can also have 6 1 which means one particle is having 6 units of energy another particle is having 1 units of energy and everything else 0. You can get 5 1 1 you can get 4 1 1 1 you can get 3 1 1 1 1 you can get 2 1 1 1 1 1 5 ones basically and you can get all 7 ones 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ok. So, there are more possibilities one possibility will be that you can do uh, 5 2 that means one particle is having 5 units of energy another particle 2 you can do 4 3 you can do 4 2 1 you can do 4 1 1 1 is already done. So, that you cannot do then you can do 3 1 1 1 is already done. So, but 3 2 5 2 you can do you can do 3 2 1 1 and you can do 2 2 4 5 6 7 you can do and 2 all 1s are already done. So, let me see how many are there. So, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13. So, 2 more are remaining let let us let me find out. So, 4 triple 1 is already done 3 2 2 are done 3 2 1 1 is done 2 2 1 1 1 is done 3 3 1 is remaining anything else. 2 2 2 1 is not done ok. Now, let us count how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15. So, thus we got all 15 possible distributions. So, each each one is a distribution that you have to understand let us say I call it can call it A, I can call it B, I can call it C. So, each one is a distribution each one has a number of microstates associated with that for distinguishable particles. Now, let us go back and see how we can do that. So, this is our energy distributions from 0 to 7 because there are 7 units of energy not more than that and there are 9 particles. So, now this is one particular distribution in, have in which I have to put the particles. So, let us start with giving one particle all amounts of all the energy and th then we can build up the other things. So, I give 1 units of energy. Uh, 7 units of energy to one particle and 0 will automatically go to the rest of the particle. So, the distribution will be 1 and 8. Now, how many possible microstates can be there? It will be simply factorial 9 by factorial 8 and factorial 1 which will give us 9. Now, let us go to the second one in which I have brought down the energy of one particle by one label here. I have brought down energy of label uh, by label 1. Similarly, I have to pull up one particle to the next level you see. So, now it has become 7 it is 1 1. Now, how many number of possibilities will be in this case 9 factorial by 7 factorial and 1 factorial. Now, go to the third distribution I bring the down this particular one by one more step and automatically I have to pull this one up by one more one, one more level. So, again that is 7 1 1 and it will have the same number of number of microstates. Now, let us go to the second uh, uh, the fourth one uh, distribution this one let us keep in the same level, but I bring this one down by one level. So, I have to pull up one particle to the higher level. So, it becomes 1 to 6 this will have factorial 9 by 6 factorial 2 factorial and 1 factorial number of microstates. 
So, similarly, I have 711, I have 1116. So, this is where you can actually get the number of possible distributions. So, you bring down this particle by one level and put one particle up. For example, here we brought down one and I pulled up to one. So, now even if you miss it, so that is why I uh, already discussed that if, if you miss it by this way, you can always get by the partitions way and confirm whether your number of distributions are matching with this particular way or not. So, now I get G, H and all the other distributions as it is mentioned here. And this is a all 15 possible distributions that are possible and that is mentioned here. I will just remove this because I will show you the number of possibilities for each one below. So, we have shown that how the 9 comes similarly 9 factorial by 7 factorial and 1 factorial give you 72, the C is also 72, D is 252 and things like that. And if you see here this is the largest number 1512 and that comes from 9 factorial by So, this is jth one is um, this one. So, 9 factorial by 5 factorial, 2 factorial, 1 factorial and 1 factorial will give you 1512 because uh, you can show he, I can show it here 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 uh, divided by 2 factorial because we can take care of the 5 factorial already we took care of. So, now 2 cancels and give us 3. So, it is 9 into 8 72 into 7 into 3. So, 72 into 21 1512 that is what we get as the number of possible distributions for the jth one it is just shifted little bit. So, please look at this way the O1 is 36. So, you see now that if I add up all the number of distributions, then that is the number that I am going to get by summing up this individual distributions. By summing up this individual distributions, uh, in the, the uh, microstates of individual distributions and I can get the W tot, which also I can get from the star bar formula that I have 9 units of energy, 7 units of energy in 9 particle, which means 7 plus 9 minus 1 it is r plus n minus 1 c 9 minus 1 which is 15 c 8 and that will give me 6 4 3 5. I will just do the calculation 15 c 8 6 4 3 5 that is what we are going to get from, from this uh, thing. So, we can get all possible distributions just in you know using one formula itself. However, individual for individual distributions we have to distribute the particles in different level and then calculate it. It is also mentioned here. Now, can we continue for larger and larger systems like this? How do we know the energy levels and how do we know whether energy is equally spaced or not and that is the thing that we have to consider and can we estimate all possible microstates. So, we will come back to these questions, but with some more examples. Now, here is a summary. So, number of partitions is number of distribution. Number of distributions is you know can be partition 7 9, 7 into you know 9 partitions maximum and then total number of microstates can be given from this particular formula and uh, for actual uh, for for an individual uh, distribution for i would say individual distribution or for a particular distribution we can calculate the w from this particular formula so for the distribution a we can get by using this particular formula and now we have to estimate one more thing we have to estimate that what is the number of microstates possible when a particular particle has ha, you know having ith energy because we want to know that how many particles are having ith energy i in energy i so we we can show that but i can explain to you briefly that in all possible microstates 
if I want to calculate that how many particles will have energy I. So, in order to calculate that, what you can do is that, that let us say the total number of energy, total units of energy then 0 and I can take out I units of energy and give it to one particle. So, I am left with N0 minus I amount of energy and I am left with N minus 1 particle, you see. Earlier I had N0 amount of energy and I had N particle. I have given I amount of energy to one particle. So, my energy units reduces by I and my number of particle reduces by 1. So, that means now I have a different problem to solve. I want to solve that for N0 minus I units of energy and N minus 1 particle how many possibilities are there and that is nothing but this particular formula N0 minus I plus N minus 1 minus 1 C N minus 1 minus 1 which is giving me precisely this particular formula that N0 plus mi minus I plus N minus 2 C N minus 2. So, I will just write it once more here it will be N0 plus N minus sorry this is I N0 plus N minus 2 minus I C N minus 2. So, by using this particular formula we are going to get the number of particles that are there in the ith energy level. Now, once we use this particular formula we can calculate that that n i is the number of particles in the ith level which you can get from the number of microstates corresponding to that particular state where the particle is in the ith level divided by the total number of w and multiply by the total number of particles. Now, a w i by w we can say that it is the probability of that particular state. So, that is nothing but p i. So, p i into a uh, n is n i which means n i by n is nothing but p i right is it but clear. So, what I am I will write it again here n i equal to n into p i. So, which means n i by n is p i. So, probability of a particular uh, uh, state i to be occupied i th energy state to be occupied is n i by n. It, give, it is given by the number of particles that is there in the ith energy level divided by the total number of particles. So, n is the total number of particles. How did I get that? We got that by also calculating the number of microstates corresponding to the particle having ith energy divided by total number of microstates. So, that is so basically we can say that this is nothing but w i by w. So, n i by n is nothing but w i by w. So, and we have we have given the formula of W, we have given the formula of uh, W i and that when you use for 5 units of energy and 4 particles, you see it is following some kind of decaying distribution. What it means is that when my energy is smaller, when the energy is smaller, N i is bigger, larger. So, N i is larger means probability is larger. So, for particles to fill up the lower energy level is more probable than higher energy level. You see the number of the probability. So, this is n i or uh, you know I have written here n j by n it is same as n i by n. So, you see the number of particles or probability of par, uh, you know, particles uh, filling up higher energy level is less. So, this is nothing but probability it is nothing but p j we are denoting it by j. So, i and j are dummy symbols. So, we are denoting by j. So, the probability of particle occupying jth level and here it is energy E j. So, as the energy increases for for example, here the 5 units of energy and 4 particle as the energy increases to from 0 to 5 the probability decreases. So, which means that it is less and less probable for the particle to occupy higher levels. So, there will be more particle in the lower level, then less particle, then less, then less, then less. So, it will continuously decrease as the energy goes higher and higher. Remember initially when we talked about distribution of particles, there was no energy constraints involved. 
if there is no energy then particles are equally occupied we have shown you that for two level systems when there is no energy we showed you that the most probable distribution is when the n by 2 particle is there in one state and n by 2 particle in another state the reason is that that time there was no energy constraints involved the energies of both the uh, systems were same so that they are called degenerate state basically if the energies are same now even if so if energies are same then particle will like to occupy equally however we have shown that when the energies are not same for different levels then this probability calculation just by the calculating the number of microstate itself just by how we can distribute this total amount of energy into particles just the number of possibilities so what we did when we calculated the 15 possible distributions and 6435 number of possible microstates so we have all 6435 possibilities are there and what we, what we have done till now is that we have just distributed the uh, particles and sat to satisfy the total energy so we have satisfied the constraints of two things one we have satisfied the total number of particles remain same and the total energy should be also same with that constraints when you distributed the particles what we finally landed up is that the higher level energy level will occupy with lesser probability and that is what is shown in this particular graph using 5 units of energy and 4 particles and the formula for getting that is given here. So, this W will give you all possible microstates combining all distributions and this wy will give you the probabilities of a particle occupying ith or uh, number of microstates in which a particle will occupy ith energy level when you do that you get this particular one similar calculation have been done for other systems as well seven units of energy and nine particle we have discussed you and we have seen that in this particular case there were so in this particular case our w tot was uh, 56 and in this particular case our w tot was 64 3, 5. We did not calculate individual wi's though if you want you can calculate that using this particular formula which we have done it and that is how we plotted this graph. Again here you can see that we are plotting p j against e j energy of the jth level and you see it, it, it is decreasing as the energy increases you see it just keeps on decreasing. When the energy is 7 units it is very very less probable. So, automatically it is distributed in such a way that lower level will have higher number of particles and higher level is this. Now, here we have just switched the number of units of energy and particle here 9 units of energy is given to 7 particles. So, more energy less number of particles here there was less energy more part particle yeah. So, you see here also is the same case where this is de this is decreasing as the energy increases. So, all the three graphs show the same pattern. Now, remember we are dealing with very few number of particles and few energy states in actual situation there will be again 10 to the power 23 number of particles and maybe even larger number of energy states. So, there of course, the statistics will be much 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 better here even with such a simple you know such a small number of particles and such small units of energy we can still see a pattern what kind of pattern it is in order to know that we have fitted this to some numerical equations and that equation is typically an exponential equation because that is an exponentially decaying graph we can visually see that. So, we try to fit that to this particular exponential equations a e to the power minus b e j. So, this e is exp energy e this e j. So, it, it shows that if e j is higher if this is larger then this term will be smaller and therefore, this term also will be smaller this is called an exponential decaying graph a is something like a normalization constant which means when e j equal to 0 then this quantity will become 1 and it will give you a that is a called normalization constant for the 0 energy value. Now, we fitted this graph to this this uh, blue line shows the fitting you see that it fits beautifully and it gives 0 0.387 and 0 0.434 what is the significance of that that means when the energy is 0 then the n i by n j probability will be 0 0.387 and you see here it is very close to 0 0.35 a is 0.35 and this b point of 0.434 indicates that how fast the decay will happen if b is larger then it will decay much faster if b is smaller then it will decay slowly. 
So, look at this 7 units of energy and 9 particle. Here at 0 energy uh, the uh, probability is 0 0.537 you see it is very close to that value and the fit is also looks much better and B is larger. So, it falls faster. So, it decays much faster and it decays to 0. So, with more number of more units of energy and more number of particles is decaying faster and but uh, ag again here you can see that uh, the decay rate is almost similar and uh, A and B are given here and this also fits very well for 9 units of energy and 7 particle. So, all of them follow an exponential distribution. So, what did we learn that we learned that when there is no energy you know, bias that means the energy is not constraint is not there then the distributions will be equal or flatter. When there is an energy constraint involved for then for this kind of particles which are distinguishable particles we see an exponential decaying distributions. These are examples coming from the one that we have tried 7 units of energy 9 particle 9 units of energy 7 particle 5 units of energy 4 particle this is how we constructed it we calculated it and then we plotted it. However, we need to find much more general uh, f you know exam formula for that and we will come back to that. And also one more thing you have to note down is that this we are talking about for uh, this statistics we are talking about for distinguishable particles where the particles can be distinguishable and they are typically called cl typically classical particles and this distribution uh, is known as Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. We will talk about that little bit more and we will show you how to find a more general formula about it. But remarkably this you know by using this you know small number of particles and you know small number of energy levels itself we can see that there is a bias towards lower energy level already for the particle to be there and it is not an equal distributions. And that has great imp you know implications in all the thermodynamic observations that we see this probability will dictate all properties that you observe because those properties will be averaged over by this probability itself. That means, the lower one the properties given by particles in the lower energy level will be more weighted more important than the properties that we get from the particles which are in the higher energy level. So, and okay, so you will know come to know later on that this B is not just simply a constant the B is associated with the temperature and B is in fact 1 by K B T 1 by temperature. So, K B is some uh, con Boltzmann constant which will come to know that and then essentially what you are going to get is uh, that N J by N will be uh, nothing but A e to the power minus E J by K B T we will come back to that later on. But so, so B is 1 by K B T that that is taken in order for the other thermodynamic constraints to satisfy, but right now we have used B just as a fitting parameter both A and B. So, we see this uh, that from distinguishable particle the statistics turn out to be Maxwell Boltzmann like which means that there is an exponential distribution. Mm -hmm.